everybody. Um, welcome to another, <laughs> I guess, tutorial with goggles because uh, I get questions every now and then on the Steam Workshop uh, regarding images of trucks or, you know, the Mac skins for the Mac R that I put out that have dealings Mac R add-on attached. So that adds a sleeper to Harvin's Mac R. And um, I guess a lot of people aren't aware of the process. So I thought what I'd do is just make a quick little tutorial on it. So, number one, you have to have the Mac R from uh, Harvin in your Steam Workshop. We'll, we'll get there in a sec, but what you do is you search on Google or wherever, Dealings Mac R add-on. Pretty simple. Come down to this one from Gumroad. So, DealingWoo, Gumroad.com, Mac R add-on. And you click here, and here it is. Now, it looks like pay, pay, pay mod, but it's... It's you put it whatever you want here. If you want to put zero, put zero. But you know, I I I, I threw the guy some money because uh, yeah, he worked pretty hard on it, and everybody deserves something. But for the number of people who go zero, well, whatever. Maybe I'm helping compensate. But you can do whatever you want right there, and download it. So once you get it into your mod manager, um, it's going to look like uh, I believe it's going to be. Now we got to get into the mod manager. Uh, oops, it's just going to be dealing something like uh, or I got to remember. <laughs> no, it's going to be under Mac. Mac R add-on, I guess. Mac. Yeah, Mac R add-on version 1.0. Right there, there it is. So, and off we go. We'll go into the game. We'll just show you how simple this really is. So, in your mod manager, we'll just type in Mac. And I got a bunch of skins. Like, I mean, you know, you know me. That's what I do, right? So it kind of clutters it up. But there's uh, the Mac R, and here's the R add-on right above it. And that's where you put it in your mod order. So pretty simple. And remember, trucks at the bottom, just above maps, trailers, skins, you know, or wheels, all that stuff up above that, engines at the top, and then your map overlay and all your maps at the bottom. The map overlay will be at the top, but I have, I tend to just dump skins up here as I'm working on stuff, and then eventually I'll sort them out. And they don't really matter where they go. But there, this is really the top of your, Mod, your mod order here, the uh, background map. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to go and build a Mac. So let's do that now. So we'll get out of here. Go into the game. So. We're in, uh, right now, I believe, in Albuquerque with the uh, with a dealing Mac R add-on to make ourselves the um, convoy truck from uh, the movie Convoy right here. So this is what you can do with it. And just, we'll go drive it for a second. I want to point something out. The actual truck in the movie was an R700 with the single headlamps. So this skin on the Steam Workshop, I put it on there, it only works with the choice I'm going to show you, the R700 with single headlamps. So we'll go there and have a look at that. Let's go into the uh, into the workshop. Or actually, we can go to Truck Manager and do it this way. So this is the one we're driving. Here's a Mac R. Uh, oh yeah, there's one that's all modified up. So let's, um, and then this is one somebody did. They did a pretty good job of this. Uh, I don't think the script and stuff is as good as mine, but the truck has got the right uh, towel catcher or bull bar. And uh, that looks pretty authentic, that one. It's pretty cool. Anyway, let's, um, I don't think I can upgrade this one, can I? Can you do all of the... Yeah, you can't do the same stuff. This is a standalone truck. But his, his lettering is all off, off kind of. And this 
it isn't quite right. So th it is a standalone mod, but his uh, the ball bar is really nice. But other than that, I don't know, kind of partial to mine. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We'll go look at this one. This is one I was messing around with, just checking to see what it looked like with the uh, dual pipes and stuff. So what will happen here, uh, just to show you, so we've got R700 sleeper single lamps. We, we'll take the double lamps and we're going to lose the paint job. See, it only works for the one cab with the single lamps, just just so it's aesthetic to the movie. But what we'll do, uh, I think it would be smart if we just went like we're building the truck from scratch. And uh, we'll just uh, get out of there, go to the mod dealer. Uh, where are we here? Truck dealers. Mod. Mac. We'll grab the basic Mac here. And here we start with the little R, uh, Mac R, R600. And uh, man, that's short. Ooh. So we look in here. Now we've got all the R add-on stuff. So here's a 600 with sleeper and double lamps. So you can stay with the short hood. So that's the R600. I don't think I did a skin for this. Yeah, I didn't do a skin for the R600. But anyway, there it is with the short hood. We got an R, and so that's double lamps. You can have single lamps, just like with the day cab. You can have single or double. And now we get into an R700. And you see the see that nose jump out there. So the R700 is much longer. And um, here, I want to check something out here. If that dual snorkel air cleaner is an option, I think it's only an option. Uh, right filter. Oh yeah, you can put a double on the little guy, I think. Yep. And that's the air filter f that would have been in the uh, Convoy movie. So, let's go back to the selections here. Now we want the R700 with a sleeper. And there's the double lamps. And of course that uh, paint job isn't in there. We've got the old school one. You can doll it all up, paint the tanks, do whatever you want. And there's a version of this I did for dealing. He packaged it with the truck, with the mod. And for some reason, or was that in his superliner? Oh, no, that was his superliner. Sorry. His superliner. When it came out, the script on one side of the tank was backwards on a painted tank. And on my own personal version of it, uh, it's fine. So I don't know how that happened. Anyway, I never did talk to him about it. So that's what you can do. That's pretty simple. That's uh, all it is. You go to um, uh, search for the dealing Macar add-on and get it on Gumroad. Um, put it above your Mac in the in the mod order, uh, just above the the Harvin Macar, and you're going to have uh, a good little truck. It's awesome. So we'll just get out of there. And uh, is there anything we wanted to look at in here? I don't think so. So it's pretty straightforward. It's no, there's no drama. There's no, it's not a huge mystery. Pretty easy to do. And just make sure that uh, that you have the R add-on right above your truck. And Mac R add-on, version 1.0, Harving, or Harvin dealing woo. Pretty simple. Already? So that's gonna be it. It's just a quickie little video just to show you how to do that specific thing. And uh, hope, uh, hope that was helpful. Anyway, we'll catch you guys later. Take care and bye for now.